Hello everyone. This is a tutorial video on how to install Face Fusion locally on a Windows computer. So, let's get started. If you are using a Windows computer, but your system is Windows XP or Windows 7, that won't work. You need to upgrade your Windows to Windows 10 or Windows 11. The software, Face Fusion, also has some hardware requirements. You can open your task manager, click performance, and select GPU 0. Then, under dedicated GPU memory, you can see how much video memory you have. To run Face Fusion, you need at least 4 GB of video memory. 8 GB will provide a smooth experience, the more, the better. Before we start the installation, we need to do some preparations. Here, it may be necessary to upgrade the graphics card driver. Of course, you don't have to upgrade it. But if you don't, the software might run a bit slower. However, I recommend upgrading it. So, how to determine if you need to upgrade your graphics card driver? Take my NVIDIA graphics card as an example. Press Win plus R, type CMD, and enter the command NVIDIASME. This will show the highest CUDA version supported by your driver. Here, it's 12.9, and this software, Face Fusion, also runs on CUDA version 12.9. In other words, we need our driver to support a CUDA version that is greater than or equal to 12.9. If you find that your supported CUDA version is below 12.9, it's recommended to upgrade your graphics card driver. Okay, after upgrading your graphics card driver, we can proceed with installing the software. Open your browser and search for FaceFusion documentation. Then, go to this website. Click installation on the left side. This tutorial will use Windows as an example. Other systems are similar. Just follow the steps. Select Windows. Execute the first command. To install Git, press Win plus R. Type CMD. Open the command prompt and paste the copied command. Press Enter. It shows that I don't have Winget installed. We'll search in the browser for Microsoft Store. Go to the Microsoft Store website. In the Microsoft Store interface, search for App Installer. If you don't find it, we'll go to this URL. I will put this URL in the video introduction. You can just copy and paste it later. Press Enter. Click Install. The Microsoft Store will pop up. Click to install it. After the installation is complete, we'll open a new command prompt. Type Winget. You can see that we have now installed Winget. Next, we continue to install Git. Paste this command. Select Yes in the pop-up window. Then, the Git installation program will start. Let's wait a moment for it to finish installing. Next, we install Conda. Copy this line of command. Paste it and press Enter. Click Next. Click I agree. Then click Next. Here, you can change the Conda installation location to your preference. I'll keep the default and click Next. These options can be adjusted according to your preferences. I'll keep the default. Click Install. Click Next, then click Finish. Next. Install Fempeg. Copy the command. Paste it into the command prompt and press Enter. Next, prepare your environment. We'll open the Anaconda prompt. Copy the Conda initialization command. 
paste it into the command prompt, and press enter. Then, create the environment. Paste the command into the command prompt, and press enter. Type A, and press enter. Type A, and press enter. Type A, and press enter. Type Y, and press enter. Next, we activate the environment. Copy and paste the command. Conda activate face fusion into the command line. When base in the parentheses changes to face fusion, it means the face fusion environment has been successfully activated. Next, install your accelerator. We'll select Windows. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you'll copy this command. Paste it and press Enter. Type Y and press Enter. I got an error here. It shows a network connection error. It asks us to try again. So, let's try entering it again. Type Y and press Enter. OK. If your NVIDIA graphics card has high performance and supports Tenzerati, then you can execute this command. My graphics card supports Tenzerati, so I'll copy it and paste it into the command prompt. The common NVIDIA graphics card models and their Tenzerati support are shown in the image. Please refer to it yourself. If you have an Intel graphics card, then execute the following command. Next, we'll download the source code repository. We'll open a folder. Choose a location where you want to install FaceFusion. Open the folder at that location. In the file path at the top, type CMD and press Enter. First, let's activate the FaceFusion environment. Copy this command Kanda, activate face fusion. Paste it and press enter. Next, we'll clone the face fusion repository. Copy the command. Paste it and press enter. Copy the command CD for Shefusion. Paste it and press enter. Execute the corresponding command based on your graphics card. I have put the framework corresponding to each graphics card. In the image, everyone can check which framework corresponds to your graphics card. I have an NVIDIA graphics card, so I choose CUDA. Copy this command. Paste it and press Enter. Finally, we just need to restart our conda environment. Execute the command conda, deactivate. And then activate the environment by executing the command conda activate for Shefusion. Then, start face fusion. Execute this command. For the first launch, we need to download some essential models. The next time we launch it, we won't need to download these models again. My download speed is a bit slow here, so I won't show you the download process. Then, the software will automatically open a web page, displaying our FaceFusion web UI. If, for some reason, your browser doesn't automatically open this page, you can manually enter this address in your browser's address bar. So, after closing FaceFusion, how to launch it again next time?
you just need to open File Explorer. Go to the Face Fusion folder you installed, then type CMD in the file path at the top and press Enter. Then, enter the command Conda. Activate for Chi Fujian and press Enter. After that, enter the command. Wait a moment, and a web page will pop up, launching Face Fusion. If this video was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. This video ends here. See you in the next one.